Happening tonight, almost a week after a shooting left two men dead in Naples. Young guys, a lot of questions about what led to the deaths, and they remain unanswered tonight. Police say the bodies of 18-year-old Xavier Sierra and 29-year-old John Vodkas were found last Thursday in some woods right off Goodlett Frank Road in Naples, right near Naples Commons. All new tonight, four in your corners, Carl Fortier speaking with one of his best friends, who says the whole thing is still a total shock. Carl? I was just with him the night before, and I couldn't believe when somebody called me and told me that this had happened, to be honest with you. James Boggs says 18-year-old Xavier Sierra was his best friend who had just graduated from high school and was looking for a job. Actually, he was on his way to an interview, and he got done with the job interview, and then after that, you know, he went to go help somebody move, and then that's the last thing we heard until his grandmother called me and said he was dead. Sierra's body was found in the woods last Thursday near a medical office park called the Commons in Naples. Police also found the body of 29-year-old John Vargas right next to Sierra when they searched the area after reports of gunshots. After almost a week of investigating, the Naples Police Department say they believe the two men knew each other and confirmed that both died from gunshot wounds. In a statement just released to media, a spokesman says, quote, Naples crime scene investigators and detectives are in the process of collecting and processing evidence. Police have no reason to believe that any present threat to the community exists in regard to this isolated incident. At a vigil for Xavier Sierra at the Naples Pier Tuesday night, friends were still stunned over his death. It's crazy how, you know, certain people will lose their lives over certain things. He deserves justice. His family deserves justice. Now, very little is known yet about the background of John Vargas. Xavier Sierra's friends and family will lay him to rest at his funeral tomorrow evening. Reporting in Naples, Carl Fortier, Fox 4, in your corner.